Let me show you. Here are some. Uh, this one I made out of Pearl X powder. And this was a Twinkling H2O that I purchased. I really like to work with watercolor a lot. And um, I was uh, reading a blog uh, last year, and they, on, on this blog, the owner of the blog said that she made her own uh, Twinkling H2Os with Pearl X. So I experimented and came up with um, my own Twinkling H2O's. You can mix them in all sorts of containers. This is from a, uh, an egg tray from a Tupperware container. Uh, anything that you have, really. Uh, I also purchased these small plastic tubs at the craft store, and I mix them in these also. I'll give you the information where I got this idea from. So let's go ahead and get started. You'll need a container to mix your paint into. You'll need water. You'll need some gum Arabic. Uh, you can use the powder. I happen to have the, the liquid, so that's what I'm using. And I have that, uh, some of that into an eye, uh, a bottle with an eyedropper. So I'm going to use it that way. And this Pearl X powder is um, super russet that I'm using today. Go ahead and decant some of your powder. into the container you're going to mix into and add just a couple of drops of water. And start mixing. I need a little bit more water here. May have too much now, and I do. I'm going to have to add more Pearl X powder. What you want is a thick paste. It's not quite thick enough yet. what we want. You see how thick that is? It's just very clumpy. Now let's go ahead and add the gum. We just need a few drops. And that should do it. Um, this helps the watercolor flow. It also adds uh, shine and luster to the paint. Um, so that's why we're using it. It's my timer telling me I have about five minutes left. Okay, I'm going to add just another drop of the gum. Okay, it's pretty good. I'm going to add just a, another drop of water. It's just a little bit thick. And I'm going to mix this up and let it dry. Uh, you do need to leave your tubs open if you have them, uh, mix them in a container that where you have a lid. You do need to leave them open for um, quite a long time, uh, a week or two, to make sure that they dry and cure thoroughly before you close the lid, or else you could have some problems with mold and mildew, things like that. Okay, and I've added too much water yet again. So here we go. That's about what we want. Still a little bit thick. Our 
excuse me, it was still runny. Okay, now it's pretty thick. That's what we want. See, that's not going to fall off. It's very, very thick like paste. Okay, I'll just clean this off, put this in the container, leave it open, let it dry, and I'll be good to go in a couple weeks with a new Twinkling H2O color. Um, I'll go ahead and show you with this one that is already finished that uh, it works just like regular Twinkling H2O's. Need just a little water in here to get this going. That's good. Now I like to use an aqua painter, but you can use a, a brush if you like too. And paint this on here. It's a little bit thick yet. This is just on a piece of white cardboard. And this is a Pearl X Spring Green that I've mixed here. I'll dry this and uh, let you have a look what it, what it looks like. You can see this. See the shine? Okay, that's all I have for today. Thanks for stopping in. I hope to be back soon with another video for you. Uh, have a great day, and we'll see you later.